But right now what we're going to do is um, teach you guys the proper body mechanics for wrist exercises. Um, so right now we have a table. So find a table somewhere in your house or maybe the arm of a chair. Something that keeps your shoulder and your elbow in line so it's a 90 degree angle. It, it creates a 90 degree angle with your arm. Um, so Kim and I have found this table to make that happen. And what I'm using is another piece of wood, and Akeem's using a free weight, but something that is pretty light. Um, you don't realize how um, less weight, how much less weight you need when you do a, a wrist exercise. Um, so right now, we, like I said, we have our shoulder perpendicular to the table, so we create a 90 degree angle with our arms. So we're gonna take our free arm and support the arm that we are um, exercising right here so we don't use our elbow when we're use, doing this exercise. We're still sitting up straight just like we always have been and right now what we're going to do is we're going to just flex our wrist. So we're going to start down first and then bring it up and bring it, to, bring it up to where it's comfortable and bring it back down. And you want it nice and slow and controlled. Up, down. If it causes pain, don't do it. Um, if you feel like it's really hard to hold up, lessen your weight. You can, you can practice this exercise by not even holding anything at all. And just doing the actual movement. Start off, start off low with low reps. Like I said, we're not prescribing you any type of repetitions, um, but we want you guys to be able to do this correctly. So let's do five of these. So we're going to start down. Bring it up. One, two, and we're, the only thing we're moving is our wrist. Three, slow and controlled. Four, five. Okay, now, since we did wrist flexion exercises, we can also do wrist extension. If this causes pain, either in your wrist or your elbow, please don't do it. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use this arm to support our, the arm that we're exercising. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna extend our wrist. One, two, three, four, five. So these are some good exercises to do for your wrist. If you have any type of arthritis, any type of tendonitis in your elbow, um, and you feel like you still need to do these exercises, just don't do it with weight at all. Um, and like I said, we're not recommending anything. We just want you to do it the proper way. So this is how to do wrist flexion and extension exercises. So now I'm gonna be showing you guys some additional wrist exercises. Before we start, I will like to say it again, you know, if you have any type of arthritis, carpal tunnel, uh, De Quervian's disease, anything like that, um, I would suggest you either doing the actual range of motion without any weight, if it's comfortable for you. If not, I just wouldn't do it at all. I just don't want it to cause any type of pain um, for you. So now we're just gonna get go ahead and get into it. So I call this exercise wrist pronation and supination. So essentially it's the movement is like open a, opening a door. So I'm using a hammer. Akeem here is using a ball. Um, anything that you can find at home, use it. Um, this has a little bit of weight at the end. So that's why I like a hammer. So we're sitting in sturdy chairs. We want to look at our body mechanics sitting up straight and our elbow and shoulder is going to be even. So we're, we want to create it a 90 degree angle with our elbow when we do this exercise. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our palm down. Our wrist is clearing the table and you can use a table that's a little lower in your home. Um, use the arm of a chair if you have to. But, so we're gonna start with our wrist down, and all we're gonna do is bring our wrist up. Again, it's like we're opening a knob to a door. So we're gonna do four more of these. 
And you can also use this hand to support your arm. And this is just nice and controlled. We don't want your elbow doing this motion. We don't want any other part of your arm doing this motion. All I want to see is movement in your wrist. Okay, we're gonna do one more. So the one thing I'm gonna say that I don't want to see is doing this or doing this. This is all just localized in your wrist. So that's how you do this type of wrist exercise. So now that we understand the proper body mechanics and how we do these exercises, we're gonna go ahead and start doing this. Akeem and I are going to do two sets of 10 reps of wrist exercises. So we're gonna do the wrist flexion extension and the wrist pronation and supination. Um, again, you can do however many sets, sets and reps as you, as you want. We're, we're not prescribing anything to you guys, but if you want to follow along with us, you absolutely can. Again, if you have any type of wrist issue, you don't have to do it with any type of an object. Just actually do the motion without anything. So Akeem and I are gonna start off with wrist flexion and extension, and we're gonna do 10. Ready? Go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Relax. So while we're relaxing, I'll go ahead and explain to you the pronation and supination exercise. I'm gonna use a hammer. Um, he's still gonna use his ball. Again, you don't have to use anything in your hand, but we're in the same position, and we're gonna do 10 of these. And if you want, you can uh, choke up on the hammer if you decide to use a hammer, so it won't be as much weight. So go ahead, we're gonna do 10. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten. Good. Relax. So that was one set, and we're going to do one more set on this side, and then we'll switch. So go ahead and get ready for wrist flexion and extension. Ready, Akeem? Yep. Okay. Ready, set, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Okay. So last set of pronation, supination, or opening a doorknob, whatever you want to call it. Ready, Akeem? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and get our elbow on the on the table. Sit up straight. Okay, we're gonna do ten more. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we did that all on one side. 
and we're going to complete it on the other side as well. So go ahead and switch sides. You still want to be even with the table. Opposite arm, we're still doing wrist flexion and extension. We're going to do two sets of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So I did that a little different. You could either start it this way or this way. Um, I just wanted to show you guys another example. So I'm going to flip my wrist back and complete a set of pronation and supination. Ready, Akeem? Yep. And go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that was one set. So now we're going to do one more set of flexion, extension, pronation, supination exercises. So again for flexion and extension. Ready? Okay. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a second. Okay. Relax a little bit. Last set. Okay, ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten. So we just did two sets of ten reps of each of those exercises. This is a prescriptive, but if you want to do more or less, you definitely can. This is up to you and this is your body. You know it way better than anyone else does.